Hello everybody, today I'm gonna show you how to use an old Wi-Fi or internet router that you actually have at home and you wanna save up some money on buying the new Wi-Fi repeater or extender, whatever it's called, I don't usually use it. I like this one instead. So, we can use this as a Wi-Fi repeater, this is just an old router I have at home the mark you can see clearly and uh, first things first what we need to know so if you see closely here we have the online address or yeah let's leave it like that the online address where you have to go to actually put the settings on this router as a wi-fi repeater or extender and uh, you actually have to find it on your router because every model has something else or you can actually find an IP address like on there like uh, 192.168.0.1 or something like that you can also use that it would do the same thing and uh, then comes the username and password so these are things you should keep in mind and uh, you also need another router for this, which is going to be the main router and this one is actually going to connect to the first main router, which actually has an internet connection and this one, as you can see, doesn't have shit. So now we need the laptop, of course. So now I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to come back to you with the setting up. So everybody, I'm back. Uh, now, first thing, we must connect to the Wi-Fi router we want to use an, as, as an extender. My password in there. It should be okay. And connecting and connecting and connecting and connected as you see we have no internet connection on it just connected to our router now go on your browser type in the address I told you So, the username and the password, usually it's everywhere, admin, admin, but just look it up at your router, if you have a different one, just use that and log in. Now, this is the main page where you actually see all the functions that your router wireless link can actually do what we want to do now is go on quick setup next we want to use our router as a range extender so let's click this one next here our router is gonna search for all the available uh, wirelesses that he finds in nearby and here you just have to find yours and here this one is mine and connect your router with it here's the data you don't want to mess up with all these other things here is the password that the router, the main router you want to connect with, you have to put that one there. Nine, eight. So now that we have wrote down our passwords, you might want to double check that one before you continue. Here on this 
down part this is the new name or this is actually the name that our range extender our new wireless range extender is gonna have and automatically it gets the name of the main router I actually don't want to change this one too because it's easier for example when you go from one room to another or first floor to second or so it's easier for your mobile phone to connect automatically to the same router so it's you're never gonna have a, a blackout from internet let's put it like that or if you don't want it like that if you have this one just for yourself just click on customize put a name or whatever you want on it and just put it here as I said I would like this one then we continue next this data here also you don't want to mess with just next and here we have the new data for our wireless range extender the name it's gonna take the security mode and the password that it actually has now we click on finish and the system is gonna reboot this might take up to one minute or less actually it doesn't go that much and then we confirm our internet connection So now, as you see, we're not connected to internet. Let's just type Google and we have no internet. Now we go on Wi-Fi, better turn it off once, then turn it on. And here we find our new wireless router with the same name. I'm gonna do an extra video for you to see with another name it's actually just the same thing put our password there and next so we are now connected to the router and as you can see we have no internet whoa something went wrong now we have it here we are Google search so guys this is all now I'm gonna show you how our router looks like So guys, this is the router we are connected to. As you can see, there are no internet cables on it and you can see the wireless sign. It's green that the wireless is working and the internet sign also green that is working. We have an internet connection active. And this small computer sign you can see up here, that means that no cable is connected to the internet. I put my wireless on the window because the main router is downstairs and it's easier to pick up the connection. So thank you guys.